ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the great another great segment, women in yeah. the <laughs> NFL, ladies and gentlemen, and Delilah. What you got for us, Amy Trask? Uh, yeah, so Amy Trask. I know I'm sure a lot of you with football history, um, you know, she was the CEO of the Oakland Raiders, the first female CEO in the whole NFL. Yeah. So she kind of what you know broke the the glass ceiling for the women that would follow and start to become executives and things like that. So there was no other um, woman before her that was so highly elevated in that in that regard. Um, so interesting thing about her is that they called her the princess of darkness. Ooh, and she said, that. yes, <laughs> but she said, this is why she said, um, so the nickname was given to her um, by Mike Silver, who used to write for Sports Illustrated. And she said that at the time he wrote a profile roughly, you know, sometime between 2000, 2003, he quoted an anonymous uh, league source dating that this is um, Amy Trask saying, that I was referred to as the Prince of Darkness. And it was absolutely positively not intended as a compliment, but Raider Nation embraced it. They used to call her that, and I embraced it. And I think it's the coolest nickname ever. I cherish it. So, like, because basically she didn't take any prisoners, right? Because she is the first woman, so she would go in there and, like, demand respect. And, mm -hmm. you know, oftentimes we know women who do that get called the B word, right? And so basically this is an alternative to that. But So she just embraced it. She's like, all right, that's fine. If that's what you're going to call me, that's cool. And that's what she said. Like, that's the coolest name ever. <laughs> and so, you know, so she just yeah. kind of... Yeah, so she ran with it. And then Raider Nation, as they are, loved it, right? They loved yeah. that she was, you know that took no prisoners and like um, fought for players. Cause she was, she also did a lot in the, as a CEO where she actually fought for the fans. Hmm. So like she would like, you know, push for things to get changed and support like the fan base. And so that's kind of why they ended up really, really being a fan of hers is because of that, because she would be out there and like, you know, and the man, um, you know, the Raiders kind of treat their, uh, their fans appropriately. She's definitely an LA girl. Like she's from Brentwood. Um, her parents were total academics. So her football love came later, came in college. Like she didn't come from a football family. That's what she said. She's like, I fell in love with the game of football in junior high school. And while an undergraduate at UC Berkeley, um, cause that's where she got her bachelor's degree in political science was from Berkeley. Um, then she later got her law degree from the university of Southern California um, the way that she got into the Raiders organization is she started as an intern while attending law, you know, law school. So in 83, she interned there for a little bit. This is when they, um, when they moved to LA, you know, the second time, you know, mm. like that weird, like, <laughs> you know, every transition. Yeah. They went back and forth. So yeah. So when they, when they moved to Los Angeles in the eighties, um, she says she was already living in that LA area. So she interned for them. Once she completed her law degree, um, she was actually hired um, by Davis, who was who at the time was the owner of the Raiders in '87, and she basically like rose through the ranks. And in '97, because she just kind of you know put in her time, and '97 um, she was named uh, CEO, hmm. and so she represented the Raiders at league meetings. So she was the one that was going into the NFL rooms, right, representing the Raiders. She managed the stadium rights, like I said, to sponsorships. So she handled like all like the non-football stuff. So all the business side, right? Um, she was also the face of the franchise at the time. Again, that's why like the, the Raider fans like really, really liked her because she was like, you know, for lack of a better term, a ball buster, right? She went out there and she knew what she had to do. do. And if you exactly. know Raider fans, you know, they're like all about that kind of stuff. Um, and so, yeah, so she's basically, that's what she's known for. And, you know, she's written books, she's given like, you know, um, speeches and, uh, right now she serves on, um, the board of the big, of uh, the big, uh, three in basketball. Hmm. So, yeah, so she currently serves as chairman of the board for the big three and three on three professional basketball. Um, and so again, she's still involved in sports in some way. Um, received a bunch of awards, like Woman of the Year in sports and things of that nature. And so, um, again, that's kind of why I wanted to talk about Amy Trask, you know, first female CEO and like still out there doing her thing in sports. I love that. 
Oh, I love that. <laughs> Shout out to Amy Trash, uh, the princess of dog. Yeah, I love that. Ooh. I'd actually be a fan of that too. Yeah. I like I that. It so works. Like it works because it. it's in the with the Raiders. So right, it's, exactly. It's, it's up there. Like okay, it's princess. Up Right? I'd be totally down with that nickname, too. <laughs> I, can dig it. I, can dig I was it. like, I... little do you know, I'm a Star Wars fan, too. <laughs> See that? It works on all levels. Here we go. I love it. Thank you so much for that, uh, Delilah. And again, that had, this has been Women in the NFL, Amy Trask, the princess of <laughs> <laughs> I, I, like like it. It. I like that. I like that. I like that. Yo, moving on to another one of uh the <laughs> most popular segments in the Let's Talk, you know, plethora of shows. Yeah. <laughs>